Hi everyone, it's Miriam Ortiz Pino, Certified Professional Organizer and Simplicity Expert of More Than Organized here. Just here for another More Than Organized Monday. Today we're going to do part three of simple email tips. So if you've been following along, tell all your friends, go find them, send them over here to the live uh, Facebook stream, and thanks for your patience today. It's another one of those Mondays where uh, meetings ran a little bit longer than I thought, which backed me up and I had to skip uh, something to make it back here in time to get one of these done for you guys. So thanks for your patience and hello to those of you viewing at home or on the run. Um, I just want to tell you a little bit about uh, what we've reviewed already in the past two weeks. And you can always find all of these down below on the Facebook page or over at the YouTube channel, YouTube slash More Than Organized, um, if you want to watch the other two parts. So the other thing you can do is sign up for the One Minute Mail Solution Kit. You can find that over at morethanorganized.net slash opt dash in, O-P-T dash I-N, after the morethanorganized.net. Um, that will sign you up for the, the free e-course on uh, dealing with your paperwork, which is the exact same way we are talking about dealing with your email. Because really, email replaced going to the bottom of the driveway and grabbing all the mail out of the mailbox. So if you think about the same process you need to go through to process your mail, you're good to go. Because um, you don't have to think of two different things, just the, the one system possibly in kind of two places. But the One Minute Mail Solution Kit will help walk you through um, all the steps of the setup. Um, but let me just review what we, what we did. A couple weeks ago in part one, we reviewed starting fresh, creating an archive box to pull all the old emails in so they'd be there if you need them, but they'd be out of your way. Um, and we talked about from now on doing better because you'll have a system now and so you won't get behind like that ever again. Um, and then you deal with the backlog only if you ever have to. So that's all we have to do there. Um, and, and part of that, too, is getting familiar with how to search the search feature on whatever email program you use and how to sort. So do you do it by date? Do you do it by person? Whichever is more comfortable for you. Um, I tend to do a quick sort in the morning of by date, and then I weed it out. And then later, when I'm actually working on my email, I do it from so I get the, the threads. Then last week, we talked about uh, mirroring your physical files. So the trash is already set up in your email program, but there was going to be a spot to pull all your kind of bills and correspondence type information, bills, statements, um, invoices, that kind of thing. So you can set up that folder um, and a to read folder. So all the newsletters and longer letters from friends, things you, you want to keep up on but don't need to process right now or deal with your business right now. That can get a, a read pile or file or label depending on your program. Um, and, and then you set a time when you're going to process that particular folder. Um, and then to enter um, is usually just do it right away if it's one or two minute task. And the to enter things are things you put into the calendar or address book or, or check with someone about. Um, the to, to act folder would be just the inbox, the stuff you need to, to respond to, to gather stuff together and, and um, respond to. And you set a time aside to actually process your inbox as well. And then the file, you can just pull it over into the archive or set up a secondary archive so it doesn't mingle with the old stuff. Um, but then you're just searching the archive when you need anything. So you don't have to go farther than that. That would be enough. But if you use email for managing projects, managing your team, um, managing a family event, anything like that, you might want to set up a few project folders just to help the uh, communication a little bit. Because uh, sometimes you can set up smart folders, but it doesn't always pull or if someone answers on the fly from their phone or iPad or something, it doesn't always make it to the right folder when you're using smart inboxes. So I like to still set everything to my inbox and then I do the sorting itself. So think about it that way. And then you can do one, I tend to do one by project. So if I am 
working on getting my website updated or something, I will have a website update. Um, or if I'm working on an event, it's everything about that event for a while. Um, I'm on a committee right now to, to do some NAPO uh, education stuff, and so I have a folder for the NAPO education committee, that kind of thing. So you can do it by project or by person. So the other thing I like is, is especially for my team, my regular ongoing team, I have one folder per um, person or company that's on that team. And that way I can quickly just kind of glance and get an overview of what our conversation has been like. Sometimes when you search, you get most of it, but then there's that one other one off to the side somewhere because they answered you on the fly, like I said a minute ago. So I like pulling it over on my own. Um, and then, yeah, so by project or by person or a combination. I tend to have a combination uh, with people getting the folder only if there's someone I will be working with for a long time over a period of time on multiple projects. That way we can stay consistent of what we've checked in and out of. So learn how to make folders for your email uh, program. I use mail on my Mac, so it's pretty easy. Google's pretty easy, although they don't call them folders, they call them labels. So you wanna do the labels in your Gmail account. Um, Outlook, I'm sorry, I'm just not as familiar. It's either folders, files, or labels, I'm not sure. Um, but just think about how you wanna sort, and again, anything that's too automatic, like smart boxes or spam filters, I, time, I, I avoid because it actually can take longer to search for the things you overlooked or got caught up uh, when you didn't mean them to than to just drag the stuff you need to the right place once a day. Okay, so again, you can get more of how to set these kinds of things up at morethanorganized.net slash opt dash in. It'll take you to the one minute mail solution kit. It's all about how to set this up for your physical paper files but it works the exact same way with your email files because email is just like walking to the bottom of the driveway to pick up the mail out of your mailbox. So it's information, not a separate thing. It's how you organize your information. And if you just come up with the system once and duplicate it, replicate it, mirror the system in your physical world and your digital world, it becomes a lot easier to um, glance on that. So the two other things I would like to point out is, is there's time involved. You have to set up time every day. So I turn off all notifications. So I'm not getting a ding every time an email comes in. Um, I don't get a banner. I don't get a little flash, nothing. I choose when I'm going to look at my email. And once in the morning, I do this kind of triage where I pull the things into the right folders. And then once a day, I, oh, I set a timer. So once I've pulled everything over, that's when I then process any of those to enter or very quick response emails. And that way they can go away right away. Um, and then I do uh, a block of time, usually 20 to 40 minutes where I'm answering the longer, more in depth, may need to check calendar or check in with someone else about it or gather resources uh, together for those uh, particular emails. And then, I kind of check one more time right around lunch or getting back from lunch and then one at the end of the day just to make sure nothing urgent came in. But really, I don't, I don't process my whole inbox again until the next day. So that'll save you a lot of headache. Um, and then I wanted to address just one quick thing um, because I got feedback on, on the um, email or the Facebook Live from last week. Uh, someone was talking about deleting uh, Facebook notifications and things. All of my social media, I do not have sent to my inbox. It is within the program. And then once a day, I check in on Facebook and on Twitter and on Instagram and on Pinterest. And I go and I look at what comments or likes or shares have happened. And I respond to those for about five or ten minutes. And that's it. I don't get interrupted nonstop. Okay? So you can set, that's a setting in Facebook or in Twitter or in Instagram. So you set it there about what kind of notifications you want. Just turn them off and then they won't come into your inbox and then you don't have to worry about it. Okay, that saves tons of time. So again, thanks for paying attention to this particular uh, thing. Let me just take a quick look and see if I have any questions. If you guys have questions, there's a little bit of a delay. I can try to answer if there's something specific. I see a bunch of people have joined the 
the live stream today. Thank you so much for showing up. It's fun. I'm trying to get more people. So be sure to start telling your friends every Monday, usually around 11 o'clock mountain time, but sometime before five o'clock mountain time, I do these to see what all's happening. I don't seem to have any comments yet, but I have had people viewing. So um, know that if you do comment, I will answer on the Facebook page. And if you have questions about the setup of the whole system, go to morethanorganized.net slash OPT dash I N. And you can sign up for the one minute mail solution kit there and it'll walk you through step by step everything. Um, and then you can apply it to your paperwork too. How about that? Okay. If you ever have any uh, topics, topic ideas or suggestions or questions, feel free to post them below any of the videos and I will check in once a day on the Facebook page to see what's happening. Thanks so much. I hope this saves you a whole lot of time and I will see you again next Monday. Bye.